You're listening to the Daily Nugget, dnugget.com, for Ooh. Monday, January 29th. It is the third return of the Daily Nugget. It's <laughs> y- you can't kill it. It's like one of those sequels. It's I I, I don't know. At some point, we're going to be like Fast and Furious. I don't know. Are they on the tenth one now? I don't know. One of us probably needs to die though. <laughs> no. One, two, three, not it, not it. <laughs> That's Jen. You heard Sam. Janelle is here too. Howdy. The gang is all back, and we are so excited to bring you, because I feel like in 2024, what is needed more than ever is joy and levity and ridiculousness that has nothing to do with politics. Yes, thank you very much. Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. Yes. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, Preach. If, if you are new to the Nugget, out. please listen to the former <laughs> episodes that have been posting. Um, check out the website, dnugget.com. But we're keeping the same format if you are a fan of the former Nuggets. So every day is a different topic. So it's Monday. It is Food Monday today. So if you've been waiting with bated breath for the last decade, Ew. here we are. It's been 10 years. <laughs> Why are we all so old? How much life I'm... has happened? <laughs> <laughs> At some point, we need to do a where are they now, a, a, the, what happened in the last 10 years. That will come. Yes, yeah. Janelle? I have something to say. All right. Uh, okay. Thank you for fact. raising your hand. <laughs> yes, Janelle. We're going to have former listeners still tuning in. <laughs> I bet we will. Former, yeah, from the yes. If you listen to uh, version one or version two of the Daily Nugget, please let us know. Nuggethatemail at gmail dot com still is operational. It so is. Please. Yes. Um, wow. Yeah. Please. So it's it like is. that bad, that bad sore that will never go away. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get better examples? Everybody hates Fast and the Furious. Whatever <laughs> that is needs to be cleaned up with a band aid. What is happening? <laughs> Janelle, first off, there's an ointment for that. So, <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Well, so go to the, the hospital. They'll help you out. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you have to say that awful what? word. <laughs> All right. Well, Janelle, here, question for you. Yes, Why sir. are some Dutch people putting pancakes on their heads? You know, uh, when reviewing this story for possible conversation, I realized that there was no genuine purpose in putting a pancake on your head. If it were so, we would have we would have known about this long ago instead of just now finding out in the year 2024 that this is beneficial to our health and <laughs> mental health, whatever health they're talking about. This is absolutely ridiculous. Why okay. even bother making the pancake? Why don't you just go put a bunch of pancake stuff on your head? Well, hold, hold on there. <laughs> hold on there, Sheriff. Just no, a moment. no, no, no. Hey, no, put the syrup on first and then mix it up a little bit. Then well, it'll to- stick better. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. You know what I'm saying? You can tell Janelle's excited that this hasn't happened in 10 years. We haven't even mentioned the story. I said yeah. the headline. <laughs> Hold on. It's all okay. Things. So, Back okay, the pancake ahead. truck up. Okay. <laughs> so, there is something called Dutch Pancake Day. Mm, it is just... every year on 29 November, which is how the Europeans, because this is why we declare our independence from, yeah. you know, November yeah. 29th. Yes, November 29th for those who speak American. <laughs> a number of Netherlands residents put pancakes on their heads in a celebration that has gained traction. So this actually was invented in 1986 by a Dutch cartoonist. Cartoonist. Oh. Jan so Kroos. Has... Jan Kroos. Just really dumb. Okay. That's offensive. Just <laughs> say it. Yeah. Say Jan Kroos or putting pancakes <laughs> on your head? Both, but talk about the name for now. <laughs> I'm Norwegian, which is kind of close to Denmark, so I think I can make fun of them. I don't know. Uh, We don't need an excuse to make fun of people on this podcast. We don't. We don't. don't. Or any people group, for that matter. Okay, so the celebration was invented in 1986 by Dutch cartoonist John Gruss, in which a father comes home in the evening to find his family wearing pancakes on their heads. It was a cartoonist. And then three decades later, Mr. Gruss... Expanded this idea with the gospel of St. Panacook. I <laughs> love Panacookins. He tells the tale in this piece of a 12th century monk in a monastery. Well, they were celebrating a young monk's birthday and they're eating pancakes, but there's only one enough, enough for one each. When the old abbot becomes cold, the young monk places his pancake upon the elder's head. 
Ew. At this, an angel descends from heaven holding a golden frying pan and flips a pancake onto the young monk's head. This could have been enough uh, for Jesus Sunday. <laughs> 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 the Lord has done us a miracle. We have a saint in our midst. The others cry and put their own pancakes on their heads. Wow. So I have a question. I have a question. Okay, if you as, only and, get one pancake for each person. Why are we <laughs> slapping it on our heads? I know what I put in my hair to get it to stand up like this. I don't want to eat that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now, wow. now Jen, Jen I have had a, a question. Yes. Um, I don't know anything about this, so I thought maybe you guys might. Okay. This was 1986, right? The first time it happened? 80s. 86? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. You weren't around in the 80s. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't alive. This has been around forever. She was a wee homeschooler. But was the straight jacket invented before or after this? <laughs> I'm asking because say you come home one night mm. from working and your family's yeah. sitting around the table mm -hmm. and they all turn to look at you walking in the door okay. with pancakes on their head. Okay. What's your next step? <laughs> Well, as a dad, <laughs> I'm upset that they're wasting food. Yep, I would say, okay, okay. I would say thing. you better eat that. Thank you, you. I was just concerned for like their mental state. That's all. Well, so the 80s gen was after insane asylums really were a thing anymore, okay. but before Prozac. So <laughs> it was a weird a time. Wild, Good boy. <laughs> it was a wild time. It was a wild time. Hair metal. The 80s, man. Um, metal you slides imagine, at playgrounds. Metal slides. Oh, man. That's probably where they cooked them. <laughs> on the metal slides. Those metal slides, man. On a hot day. <laughs> you went down those hot things oh, and man. You burned your legs and you loved it. You were, wow. you were cooking. You were panic cooking. Yeah. You, were panic -cooking. you could turn out some pancakes on that. <laughs> so we're saying, okay, but, but it's a made up holiday. Yep. But we all have made up traditions and made up holidays. Like mm -hmm. I celebrate Festivus. Uh, it's it's a dumb holiday from a TV show. Do you There's this for the rest of us, Andy. <laughs> right? <laughs> December 23rd. You can't, you can't discount that everyone doesn't celebrate that because there's going to be those that are left alone in the toy aisle grasping for that doll that they didn't get. <laughs> now, okay, now Jen, I feel like Jen your family has got to have some unique there's there's something in what are you saying, Andy? I, what I, what I, is I'm it? Saying that you're what? homeschooled and you're <laughs> <laughs> thank I'm you. Just saying, there's a lot of people in your. How many kids are in your family? Because you guys have adopted and yeah, yeah I am like one of eleven family. kids. Ele okay. Holy crap! Yeah. So there's no money to actually do real things if you have that many kids. So no. you have to come up with stuff. <laughs> do you have like a recorder? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but a family band has been a dream of mine forever. <laughs> a dream. Oh my gosh. A dream. But no, I don't know what's a weird tradition because they're all normal to me. All right, so you tell me oh, no. your most... Hold on, hold on, hold on. This will be the test. You tell me your most seemingly normal tradition. The one you're like, I'm sure everyone does that. <laughs> and we'll see how crazy... <laughs> Jen's family is most They're normal really, tradition. It's not that wild. Okay, I'll give you two. We <laughs> bake a, a cake for Jesus and we sing happy birthday to him on Christmas Day. It's not that weird. No, I've it's heard his of birthday. We, okay. we did that. At, All right. Okay. What was the other one? Okay, the other one is oh, we make s'mores. Okay. Christmas s'mores because they represent like the three pieces: God, three in one. And then you, it's a way to like describe it to the kids, but it's not weird. And then we eat Jesus. Then you eat Jesus. Good job. Okay. Well, I know I'm proud. <laughs> this is like uh, no, I've, got one. I've got one. Okay. What about Hootie 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 Day? <laughs> Whoa! See, all right. Why did you this go to me? Who did you think Janelle? would have something weird? Family it's, friendly, Janelle. It's a. <laughs> it's a real deal. It's a real day. It's on the calendar. It, say it, say it again <laughs> so we can all understand what you just said. Not it's on whose people, calendar? Not well on mine. No, no. <laughs> not that many people know about it. it Obviously. Is, <laughs> is that because the people that have celebrated it are now in jail 
<laughs> no. It's a no, no. I mean, it doesn't involve frozen. any nudity or anything. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure. Friendly show. I'm, I'm glad you had. I mean, Janelle, I, I think that's assumed. You saying okay. that now brings up questions. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was taught this holiday as an invitation to the spring season. It's on February 21st, and you go outside fully clothed. <laughs> and I like you that you asked your the air. <laughs> hoody, hoody, hoo. Because often in that time of the year, it's often spring like. And so going outside invites it to come quicker. That's the way it was explained. <laughs> Is that is that we like we have to the, invite uh, the weather to come? Yes, <laughs> yes. So, so it's Janelle's. It's kind. <laughs> where, where did this? Where did you learn this? Where did this start? Who passed on Hootie Who Day to you? I well, feel like mushrooms were involved. Actually a very <laughs> dedicated Hootie Hooer. And... <laughs> Doctor Seuss is what it sounds like. <laughs> she did not live in Whoville. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like it was a random thing one day i met her she was actually a former listener to the radio station that i used to work with so it was one of those listeners that did um, your co-workers see her too well, yeah. <laughs> this was not a figment of my imagination okay. just checking just checking <laughs> And actually, when I first participated in this special day, special. holiday, uh, it, it felt liberating. I'm just going to say <laughs> you could release all of your stress out there into the air. So this is another festivist for you, an airing of grievances, so to speak. Well, kind of, yes. But <laughs> hootie, hootie, hoo. I, I understood that it was an invitation to spring. So I said, hey, I'll do anything to let it out. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm glad that you specified at the beginning that the clothes were on the entire yes. time. <laughs> now it all makes sense. <sighs> and to that bring is it back, I mean, the next time you the next time you celebrate, oh. you can yell to the air, whatever your invitation is, let it out, and throw pancakes. Put pancakes oh, wow. on your head and yell "hooty hooty hoo," but not just I don't pancakes. Know. At this point, I've always felt like the 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 speaking of it is was enough. I never thought about adding an additional accessory to this. <laughs> but I don't think all, if you will. Listen, I don't I'm need this up. I wear them in my up. head. I draw the line right there. Hootie. All right. If you are a hootie hooter hootie. or a panikukin, uh if you celebrate pa Dutch Pancake Day, please let us know. Nugget hate mail at gmail.com. And that's oh my is... gosh, it's real. <laughs> No, you know, Sam, make sure you have safe search on, please. Please. <laughs> oh, shoot. If you're done. Ah, nuts. <laughs> it's Hootie. H O O D I E. What yes. I, th I spelled H O O T Y. Like, like, oh. a, like an owl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be the white. Silly thing Sam. I'm just saying. <laughs> I definitely would have gotten less gross uh, results if I had spelled it correctly. <sighs> and I'm trying to end this podcast and you guys aren't letting me. So that is the <laughs> nugget. <laughs> before Janelle, before FBI shows up at Janelle's door. <laughs> that is the nugget. Welcome back, guys. Wow. <laughs>